Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and I've got double unboxing action for you and this is all thanks to a fan of the channel, Mr. Steve Rinks. He got in touch and said that he saw the horror icon video and he wanted to help me get Pinhead in the lineup and he had the 30 Pinhead in his storage and wasn't displaying it and he wanted to you know send it to a good home so he got in touch and absolutely blew my mind with such an incredible gesture and then he surprised me even more by saying Do you know what i'm even going to include another pinhead by mezco which i assumed was going to be a 112 scale little pinhead uh, but no it's a 16 scale mezco which I, I had no I, I had no idea this even existed to be honest and from the look of it it's absolutely mind-blowingly accurate looking uh from what i've seen i mean the pins on the Mezco figure seem to be slightly more in scale on the Mezco, but we'll see. That's something we can get into when I review them. This is just an unboxing, folks, and a massive thank you to Mr. Steve Rinks for getting in touch and sending along these pieces, uh, donating them to the channel. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Steve. Honestly, sir, thank you so much for your generosity and being such a, an amazing dude. You know, just parting with these figures. He said he wanted them to go to a good home, and I guarantee I will make that... Uh, the case, you know, they're gonna you know, go up on the horror shelf with Freddy, Jason, Myers, Chucky and Leatherface and I actually got another horror icon coming soon he would have been here probably around the same time as uh, Pinhead here but unfortunately I, when I went to track the other figure that's coming it said it was being returned to the sender so that's a but, you know, massive pain in the butt but I will get it eventually, I guess I'll find out why that was the case soon not sure why it was returned back to America but uh, yeah, so there's one more horror icon on the way, but these two here, man, this is absolutely amazing. And Pinhead, I guess most of you guys know, is not actually his official name. That was just something that kind of stuck after the first movie. His actual name is the Hell Priest, which makes a lot more sense to me. I mean, Pinhead makes a lot of sense too, because his head's covered in pins. But <laughs> yeah, this Mezco figure, though, man, this looks really, really good. I haven't even looked at the back yet. Let me check this out see what we got pause that and have a read uh, I haven't read that yet but I will wow so there is actually quite a bit of decent posability on the Mezco figure here I mean I didn't even know they made a 1-6 scale pinhead I wonder who else they've made I think they made a 1-6 scale Rob Zombie Myers at some point which I don't know why I have never really looked into getting that figure I probably should for my collection but Man, yeah, so I rewatched Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. It was on YouTube, so I just watched it on there. I used to watch Hellraiser 3 quite a lot when I was in my teens or maybe early 20s. So I just remember this one more than any other one. I mean, I know the, the original Hellraiser. To be honest, I've always found them a little bit too creepy for me. I mean, I love horror movies, but something about all the, the spikes and the hooks going into flesh and then torturing people and stuff. I've never been a, a torture porn kind of dude. Uh, but I do think the character of uh, Pinhead here or the Hell Priest is absolutely iconic looking and amazing and I am just so happy to have him here with the rest of the horror icons. He's going to command respect when he's standing there with Freddy, Jason, Myers, Chucky and Leatherface. Uh, absolutely blown away by the Mezco figure. Really, I can't wait to get this out and review it. So that's what I'll do. I'll do an unboxing now, get them both out and just put them on the desk, wrap the video up and then stick around for a review on each of these and then probably a comparison because they're both from the same film so after I do the nice review on each figure I'll do a comparison between the two to see uh, which one is more accurate overall so that should be fun and I know uh, Mr. Review Spot on YouTube has reviewed all of these and I enjoyed watching his videos so if you don't know about the Review Spot make sure you check him out on YouTube alright let's bust them out let's just uh, take a quick look at the packaging here which is really nice packaging on the 3.0 figure both 1-6 scale figures and both really different kind of packaging obviously this is very collector friendly so you can just see the figure in there and you don't have to take them out if you don't want to right, so this is the design on the front hellraiser 3 hell on earth pinhead 1-6 scale collectible figure uh, on the side you have the chains very creepy and then there he is the hell priest himself all right so let's Bust them both out and just get some quick first impressions before the big review. Alright, so here is the Mezco 1 6 scale figure in the clamshell. So you get spare hands and all the other usual accessories. I think you pretty much get most of these weapons with the Free Zero version as well. And just amazing work on the head sculpt. And I 
do like the the fact that I've got one with a kind of molded plastic outfit and the other one by three zero uh, three zero of actual material because you won't get this natural kind of flow to the uh, the outfit here with the the real material but with the sculpted you can really get natural looking flow to the uh, to the outfit there so let me just take this guy out there he is wow does his head move probably a little bit uh, let's see so there's no bend in the elbow but you can turn this like that you can move the shoulder all around there but I just think what's the word like aesthetically pleasing kind of thing it's like he just looks really good again the sculpted outfit just allows for really natural looking flow as you can see and the proportions I love his proportions on this they look absolutely fantastic but the lighting I wanted to shoot this unboxing in the daytime with the natural light pouring in the room which doesn't really work for someone like this because you can see it's washing out his, his skin you're not getting so much of the detail but I can probably just mess with the colour there you go that's not too bad yeah that's a bit better let's zoom in yeah, really good work on that. Like his black eyeballs, just scary. But yeah, just really good proportions on this one. As you can see. <laughs> right. I'm going to stick him over there. And get his accessories out. Alright, and there is the Hell Priest by Mezco looking awesome accessories and I will review him soon now let's bust out the 3016 scale version all right so here is the 30 figure he comes with the kind of foam around his head to protect obviously from all those pins and pretty much the same stuff that came with the mesco which makes sense obviously it's from the same movie just a different company's interpretation of the character all right go ahead and turn him loose Set him free. Oh, get off. Get off. Uh. And here is the three zero figure out of the box of all of his accessories. So this is just an unboxing, folks. I have a lot of things I want to say about these two. Uh, I will review them individually first, and then I'll get you the comparison between the two where I'll share all my thoughts about what I like about this one and what I like about that one. Which one I think, if I could only have one, is the ultimate one to have as far as a one six scale pinhead representation in the collection. But drop a like on the video, say thank you to Steve if you could in the comments because the only reason that these two figures are here and the only reason you're going to be getting the videos that are coming up is because of Mr. Steve Rinks. So thank you so much Steve, you're an absolute legend man, I really really appreciate it. Love them both, got a lot to say about both as well and I can't wait to see them with the other, uh, the other horror icons up in the shelf there. So absolutely awesome. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon next to the subscription button because you don't want to miss out on the videos that are coming up, especially if you're a pinhead or a horror fan in general. Got lots of cool stuff coming up for you. Again, all thanks to Mr. Steve. All right, guys. Absolutely incredible community. Absolute honor to be a part of it. Thank you so much for all of your kindness and support over the years. Everyone, folks, thank you so much. And I will be back with you with more videos real soon. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.